Rahim Assalamu alaikum students Today from the Nexus Education System Heart of Earth Campus Bahawalpur I Fatma Yaz is here to deliver the lecture for class 6 and the topic that I am going to deliver on is present indefinite tense in present indefinite tense we are going to discuss the helping verb form of verb the positive sentence the negative sentence as well as the interrogative sentence so Let's proceed further. The structure that we are going to first emphasize on. In the structure, the main ingredients are subject, verb, and object. Subject is basically the doer, the person who is performing the action. Verb is basically the work and object on which the action is performed. After that, you can see the structure that is subject plus first form of verb plus helping verb plus S and ES plus object. In the present tense, there is not particularly a helping verb, but in your book, S and ES, the addition of S and ES is mentioned as helping verb. That is why I placed here S and ES. Here, after helping verb, that is HV, you can see the sign of plus. I just placed it mis mistakenly, just avoid it. It will be subject plus first form of verb plus HV. S and ES plus object. You can place S and ES in bracket as per your book also. Now, here you can see subject. Now the subject, the person who is performing the action. I, I am performing the action. Now first form of verb, what work? Here it is and I have to put the first form of that work, of that verb, that is eat. Now eat is the first form. The second form is eat, ate and the third is eaten. So I have placed first form here. I eat an apple. Now the work is eat. Khana jo hai wo ek kaam hai. Ab khana, khane ka jo kaam hai wo kis par kiya ja raha hai. That the action is performing on apple. And apple. Here I is the subject. Eat is the first form of verb. And apple is the object. Now S and ES is not here, but we will discuss it where to add S or ES. Now, the next sentence when I convert it into negative, you can see on the screen, I do not eat an apple. Okay. And in the third, you can see, do I eat an apple? Okay. Just forget it. Uh, proceeding further. In the structure, the first thing that you notice there, uh, that was subject. Now, sub subject can be I. V, U, and they. He, she, it, and singular noun. But I have differentiated them by giving much space between them. I, V, and U, they. With these subjects, S and ES is not added. With these subjects, S and ES is not added. Whereas he, she, it, or with any singular noun or any singular person, S and ES is added. Okay? Proceeding further, let's take an example. I is the subject, drink is the first form of verb, and water is object. I drink water. Now, I, V, U, and they. With these, we do not add S and E S. They drink water, we drink water, you drink water. Whereas with she, he, singular noun, and it, we add S or E S. She drinks water. He drinks water, Ali drinks water, it drinks water. Okay? Now comes do and does. Here. Okay. Let's go to the previous slide that is I, V, U, they. It's understood that S and A S is not used with these subjects. Okay? So, with these subjects, do will be used in negative and interrogative sentences. Whereas with these, he, she, it and singular noun S and ES added is being added in, the, in their sentences. So does will be used in negative and interrogative sentences. So here you can see she takes medicine. Now you can see the addition of S with the verb because the subject is she. When you will convert it into negative sentence, it will become she does not take medicine. And when you will convert it into interrogative sentence, that does will come in the start, then the subject, and then take medicine. Does she take medicine? So that is so simple. But if the sentence, if I just change the sentence into I take medicine, now S will not be added with I. 
or we or you or they i take medicine i do not take medicine do i take medicine so it's so simple okay your exercise it's uh, given on page number 69 These are the positive sentences. वो सुबह सवेरे उठता है So when you will convert it, you will he get up early in the morning. सूरज मशरक से निकलता है Sun. Now sun is positive. Uh, sorry, the sun is singular noun. Okay. एक noun है singular noun है Then you will add एस एन ई एस विद इट नाउ सन राइजेज फ्राम ईस्ट वो कुरान पाक पढ़ता है He read. sorry he reads or he recites you will add s n e s he recites or he reads quran pak after that uh, ya holy quran you may add tum jhoot bolte ho so here you can um, you tell a lie now with you s n e s is not added so here you tell a lie इसी तरह जो बाकी उर्दू के सेंटेंसेस हैं आप इसको कन्वर्ट कर लेंगे मेक श्योर वेन एवर यू आर यूजिंग अ सिंगुलर नाउन इट ही और शी यू आर रिक्वायर्ड एंड इट इज कम्पल्सरी टू यूज एस एन ई एस विद इट वी आर एज इफ यू आर नॉट यूजिंग ही शी इट और एनी सिंगुलर नाउन बट यू आर यूजिंग आई वी यू एंड दे यू आर नॉट रिक्वायर्ड टू यूज एस और ई एस विद ओके हेयर यू कैन सी द नेगेटिव exercise uh, negative sentences exercise and interrogative sentences exercise so for negative wo school nahi jata now wo school nahi jata hai here you can see koi ladka hai jiske bare mein baat ki ja rahi hai ki wo school nahi jata hai now for a boy it's compulsory that we use the pronoun he now he he ke sath s e s hum lagate hain to jab hum isko negative mein convert karenge to yahan does lagega he does not go to school रज़िया ख़त नहीं लिखती ना रज़िया इज ऑल्सो अ सिंगुलर नाउ ना रज़िया डज नॉट राइट अ लेटर तुम नहीं खेलते यू डू नॉट प्ले नाउ यू जो है उसके साथ एस ई एस नहीं लगता तो यहाँ डू नॉट आएगा हम दरख्त नहीं काटते तो अब यहाँ हम है यहाँ वी लगेगा तो वी डू नॉट कट ट्रीज इसी तरह इंट्रोगेटिव सेंटेंसेस हैं क्या तुम स्कूल जाते हो डू यू गो टू स्कूल तुम लगा है क्या वो पढ़ता है डज ही रीड्स डज ही रीड अच्छा एक और चीज़ जो हमने स्किप कर दी है वेन एवर यू आर यूजिंग डज अब आपने यहाँ देखा वेन आई कैन वॉट इट दिस सेंटेंसेज इन टू द नेगेटिव सेंटेंसेज शी डज नॉट तो अब जो टेक्स के साथ एस था वो जो एस है वो डू के साथ शिफ्ट हो गया है और उसने उसको डज बना दिया और यहाँ से वो ऑमिट हो जाएगा ठीक है She does not take medicine. Does she take medicine? अब यहाँ she does not takes medicine नहीं है she does not take medicine है ठीक है Further अब यहाँ जो क्या अब क्या वो पढ़ता है यहाँ आप देख सकते हैं क्या वो पढ़ता है Does he read? तो reads नहीं आएगा read ही आएगा इसी तरह आप ये sentences कर लीजिएगा That is on page number 69 and 70. And uh, wish you all the best. अपना बहुत सारा ख्याल रखें Thank you and Allah Hafiz.